Hello. So, I found another awesome Jew on YouTube. So if you don't believe me that Jews are awesome, here's just some more proof. Now this girl, this video I'm about to show you where she's just totally ripping on Obama. It's just a huge judgment on Obama. And whether you agree with all her points or not, you have to admire her passion. This girl is brave enough to judge someone. And most people in this world are not brave enough to judge people. Okay, being judgmental takes true bravery and courage because when you judge people, you tend to make enemies. And most people don't have what it takes because they're, they're people pleasers. All they care about is gaining love from everyone and they want everyone to love them as much as possible. But when you judge people, you're putting your reputation on the line and you're risking that people are going to hate you for being so judgmental. That's why I'm saying it takes bravery and courage. And this girl, she obviously cares about making the world a better place. So whether you agree with all her points that she made, all the details of her claims, that's, that's really besides the point. The point is she was brave enough to be judgmental and I hope this inspires you to go out there and judge someone. Have the bravery and courage. To be honest, we all we all want to judge people. We all want to judge things. And we should want to question and judge our own government as just one of those things that we need to be critical of. So yeah, that's it. Go check out her channel. Her link will be in the description. And here's the video that was pretty inspirational to me. I hope it inspires you as well. Hey Barack, my name's Carrie, and I'm on multiple government watch lists for what I post on the internet, but I wasn't always. In 2008, I was actually one of your most hysterical supporters, as you might be able to tell from this shirt that's now vintage, it says that you're my homeboy. I waited for three hours in the rain to see Michelle and Stevie Wonder and Oprah campaign on your behalf, and this is me on the night that you were elected, shedding a tear of euphoria because I thought history had been made. But like a lot of Obama supporters, I sat back for the next couple years and figured I'd let you handle all that change because <laughs> you're the one that was selling it anyway. And then when I decided that maybe I should like Google the news to see what was going on in the world, I found that you would become exactly like the George Bush that I used to so vitriolically hate. And now I know that your advisors don't always tell you about all the evil things that are going on in your administration because you're just too busy. At least that's what you tell the news. So I thought I'd give you a recap of all of the mayhem and crime that you've been committing. You bailed out bankers and placed them in your cabinet. You placed Monsanto in charge of your FDA. You helped out pharmaceutical and health insurance companies with Obamacare. You expanded Bush's wars and started new ones with drones, branding yourself a humanitarian warmonger. You bragged about crippling sanctions against Iran, though they directly affected civilians. You extended the Patriot Act and asserted your right to spy on the American people. You also asserted your right to detain them without trial. You even seized the authority to assassinate Americans without providing any evidence of their guilt or offering them due process of law. You viciously punish journalists and pursue whistleblowers who expose your crimes, though you vowed to protect them when you were running for office. You arm Al-Qaeda insurgencies, refuse to close Guantanamo, and you, along with Congress, have criminalized protest. And still, you have the audacity to scold dictators about democracy, protest, and freedom. Mr. Obama, you are the biggest fraud that has ever been perpetrated on the American people, and it's been a long time since I bought into it. So I think it's about time to burn your shirt. I absolve myself. Now, Barack, 
I can admit that I probably hated you more than I needed to once I found out what a scam you were. I hated you more than I hated George Bush because I felt personally betrayed by all of the lies that you told. But really, I should thank you now because a few years out from realizing what a scam you were, I understand that it's not just you. See, it's not really Obama's fault because it's the institution of government that is the problem. It doesn't matter what political party is in office. It doesn't matter if it's a liberal or a conservative or you or George Bush or anyone else who will run for president or any other office in government. It's the institution of government that is violent and forceful and coercive and kills people and subjects them to will with a force. And so instead of spreading the same hate that you do with your rhetoric and that you and your fellow politicians decide to inflict on the rest of the world, I would rather spread love and peace and freedom and help people understand that this government that you are currently at the head of, but it really doesn't matter who is, is strictly violative and doesn't do anything to help them. It only restricts the potential of humanity, and that's what I'd like to share. So thanks, Barack. And for those of you who are wondering why I'm getting all political on this channel, because politics directly affects our eternal life, the type of government we have, our leaders, their actions, all of this directly impacts whether or not we could live forever, or it, it will decrease or increase our odds of living forever. If we have a government that is doing evil things, if we have a government that is trampling on our freedoms and our rights, there are countless ways that our government could directly impact our ability to live forever. That's the point. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and um, may you live forever. I'll see you in the next video.